Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. Today we're going to be reading some tarot cards for Lee Junho and Yuna. So uh, yeah, remember to keep in mind that these videos are for entertainment purposes and that is because we do not have Lee Junho nor Yuna to confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards and how I'm interpreting the cards is resonating or is not resonating with them. So just remember to take these videos with a grain of salt. And also, um, I apologize if I mispronounce their names. That is not my intention. But uh, I do enjoy going into these videos blindly. Um, so, yeah, let's get started on Lee Junho and Yuna's tarot card reading. So let's start with Lee Junho's views how he perceives yuna what are his thoughts on yuna we got the king of pentacles in reverse hmm interesting interesting start already what are lee junho's thoughts on yuna the eight of swords i'm just thinking like wild child that's the these that's like what I'm immediately already thinking of. Like he just thinks that Yuna is kind of just like wild, a wild child. The moon in reverse. Oh. All right. <clears throat> what are Yuna's thoughts on Lee Junho? We got the messenger, the hierophant in reverse. We got the Hanged Man. Nice. Interesting. So I'm getting some rebelliousness from the both of them. And we got the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know what? Let me do... Let me get an emotional healing card for both of these. Lee Junho's thoughts on Yuna. Hopelessness. Okay. and guilt oh interesting so both of these cards came up right so there's a pause there's a negative and a positive meaning for each card but normally when these cards come up right i read the positive parts of them so let's start with these um so lee junho's thoughts on yuna we got hopelessness and positive so Hopelessness can bring about a change of priorities. I concentrate on the moment, abandoning thoughts of future triumph. I regroup my inner reserves. That second sentence, concentrating in the moment, is re definitely resonating with how I'm seeing um, with the, the way these cards came out. So with the King of Pentacles in reverse, you know, normally the King of Pentacles right side up always has a plan, always goes according to schedule everything is concrete um everything is analyzed you know but when this card comes in reverse as it did i'm feeling that like lee junho thinks that yuna just never really goes into a, uh doing things with a plan she kind of just lives in the moment she's very free is what i'm seeing here with the eight of swords coming up in reverse normally the eight of swords is all about restricting yourself you can even see it here this angel is like feeling restricted but when this card comes in reverse to me all of these like swords are like fall like fall out from the ground and there's that freedom so there is a sense of freedom here that lee junho sees in yuna she's just free doesn't really plan too much uh she's always kind of like just focusing more on being in the moment embracing the moment um but we also got the moon card here in reverse so the moon card can talk about like secrets and stuff like that so it seems that maybe in the beginning lee junho didn't really know if he could trust yuna or if she even liked him, you know, maybe like just as a friend or as like a colleague, there was some sense of like, there's, she's just kind of very secretive. She's very free, um, is what I'm seeing. But like that freeing nature can also be a little bit deceptive because people don't really know like, oh, does she like me? Does she not like me? And this could just be like as a friendly way, um, in first glances or 
upon first meeting sometimes when people first meet yuna they don't know if she likes them or not um but that's kind of like just what i'm seeing here there's just so much depth to her um that maybe people don't really realize at first because she just seems very freeing she doesn't really plan too much or especially like ahead she doesn't plan too much ahead and that's that's beautiful that's really great that's a very good quality to have is like staying in the moment so that's what i'm seeing for junho's thoughts on yuna <clears throat> now yuna's thoughts on junho we got the hierophant in rever reverse so the hierophant normally talks about having a core set of beliefs ideals and especially like maybe spiritual code of ethics to live by and stuff like that but when this card comes in reverse i feel like yuna just sees junho as a rebel he does things his own way he lives life by his own terms he doesn't really listen to anyone and that's magnified here as well with the three of pentacles in reverse the three of pentacles is all about people coming together working together um but this card came in reverse so yuna does see that junho sometimes doesn't really like working he doesn't work well with others sometimes and i think that's just because he's just very naturally rebellious he doesn't really like listening to other people he likes kind of doing things stuff on his own terms um and there's also again another freeing sense with the hanged man here the hanged man is all about letting things go going with the flow being in the moment so it seems that both of them really capture this essence and they know both see that with one another that they both just like do their own thing they live in the moment they're very present they don't like to plan too far ahead um so let's read this guilt card that came here so positive guilt is a recognition of responsibility i'll make amends where i can i've learned my lesson and now can move and can now move forward so i'll make amends where i can um is definitely what i'm what's popping out to me it seems that yuna views junho as someone who like just goes with the flow it doesn't um he doesn't really like working well with other people but he knows that if he he but he's able to acknowledge when he makes a mistake or something he's able to acknowledge really quickly and he's able to come together like look at these people hugging uh, making amends so he does know that like sometimes him being naturally rebellious and being more independent sometimes causes him to um bump heads with people sometimes but he knows that like whenever he's in the wrong he apologizes he makes amends and then with the hanged man he just goes with the flow he's able to just brush it off and continue moving on um and living his life which is beautiful like both of them have really good qualities and they both see that with one another um <clears throat> so yeah that's what i'm seeing for their thoughts on one another now uh i do want to kind of just get a general view of them um i guess since some sometimes some people ask like oh no like are they romantically interested in one another you know what it's thanksgiving this week here in america so i'm feeling a little generous i don't really l like to do uh these types of readings in the ducky channel because it can be a, like kind of gossipy but like let's see let's see what are their what would they be like if they were romantically together we got the empress in reverse all right let's get another card representing what their combined energy would be like if they're romantically together the queen of swords hmm all right what about just friends the six of pentacles and the emperor wow it's interesting we got look at this like two colored cards and then two cards that came black and white now so i'm seeing here with the empress coming up in reverse and the queen of swords representing their combined energy if they were romantically involved 
I think they would definitely be very close to one another, very loving, but it's almost like a smothering type of love. You know, the Empress is very nurturing, very caring, very loving. But sometimes when this card comes in reverse, it could be a little bit too much, too much love. Um, but the positive here would be that the in the Queen of Swords, they would they communicate very well and they think alike. And that's resonating with the beginning uh, set of cards that showed up that they're both kind of rebellious and they both see that and acknowledge that in one another and I feel like they would really communicate well they because they both think alike um, they they have the same communication styles but maybe sometimes like they would be a little bit too maybe lovey-dovey or too they would care a little bit too much for one another to where it becomes a little bit smothering um so if there were to be just friends i got the six of pentacles in reverse with the emperor i feel like hmm interesting the six of pentacles talks about like there's an overly generous energy here um that maybe one person will be overly generous to the other um uh, one person would be a little bit more giving maybe the other person is is receiving more than they're giving um, so maybe there would be an imbalance of give and take, um, if they were both friends or to just remain as friends. But the interesting thing is we got the emperor card. The emperor card is all about wanting to like be in control or wanting, wanting a label, you know, they're wanting that sturdy foundation. They're wanting that throne. So it seems like if there were to just be friends, there would be someone here that's like wanting more. Um, that would be like hoping for more and maybe that's why there's like a little bit more of giving energy and the emperor is ruled by Aries and this is a, a more masculine card so I would assume maybe it would be like Lee Junho would probably be wanting more he'd be like all right like I want to be more than friends um, and then like it's interesting we got the emperor and then we got the empress here um, so I feel like in a relationship, maybe Yuna would be very nurturing to where maybe it, it would be a little bit smothering. It would be a little bit too much for Lee Junho. But like if there were to be just friends, Lee Junho wants more than friendship. But maybe once he gets that friendship, more than that friendship, once they get in that relationship, <laughs> maybe he'd be like, oh my gosh, this is too much love. Like, Yuna is giving me too much love. Um, so, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. But either way, like, there's some good and there's some bad, just like with anything, you know. You got to take the good with the bad in any situation. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, let's finish off with some advice for both of them. Let's get some advice representing Junho and some advice for Yuna. All right, let's get some advice for Junho. We got the Ace of Wands. Ooh. Interesting. The Star. Wow. All right, let's get some advice for Yuna. Queen of Cups in reverse. Mm hmm. And the Page of Wands in reverse. Interesting. Stomach came out for Junho. And grief. But this came out in positive uh right side up for yuna so this came out negative or like upside down for lee junho so stomach card abdomen procreation sexuality creativity spontaneity out of balance we are daunted by difficult and of difficulty and avoid challenge we have low self-esteem and expect disappointment oh interesting so i feel like the advice for lee Jun junho is that like right now maybe he has low self-esteem or is expecting disappointing results. And it's interesting because that 
we got the star card here, which is all about being positive. Like the advice for Lee Jun Ho is to really be positive about his future, about his goals, about his aspirations, what he wants to accomplish. And also we got the Ace of Wands here. And like, I'm just thinking in my head, like turn up the heat. Like the advice I'm hearing for Lee Jun Ho is he needs to just like turn up the heat, turn up the passion. Um, if he is attracted to someone, he needs to go for it. Like the Ace of Wands in regular tarot is a person holding onto a big rod. Um, and that cannot be like considered as like a very sexual card, sexual, like sexually charged. Um, so the advice I'm seeing for Junho is like if he likes someone, if he's attracted to someone, he needs to go for it. He needs to think positively rather than like having low self-esteem and avoiding like the challenge and thinking like and avoiding the challenge because he thinks the worst outcome is going to happen um so like what's the worst that can happen they say no oh well you know like you you move on and at least you got the answer but that's the advice i'm seeing for junho is like he needs to go for what he feels passionate ab about whether that's a person whether that's like a situation whether that's a dream or a goal but he needs to be more positive about his goals, his passions, his aspirations, rather than like not going for them because he's he's already like feeling like he's going to be disappointed before he even attempts, before he even tries. So now the advice I'm seeing for Yuna with grief card, and this came out in positive grief is loving commemoration. I honor what is lost. I endure slow healing day by day. My memories are par my memories are precious. All right. So the advice for Yuna is to like, it's okay to be grieving. It's okay to be sad. Um, but to view her grief as that she has a lot of love in her, in her heart. And it's interesting because we also got the Queen of Cups here. And this card came in reverse. The Queen of Cups is the most emotionally sensitive queen. She's more in tune with her emotions. But this card came in reverse. So I feel like sometimes Yuna is afraid to tap into her emotions. She's afraid to tap into her feelings because she's afraid that someone's going to take advantage of her feelings and i think she needs to view that her emotions she shouldn't grieve her emotions she shouldn't be sad about the emotions that she have she should be happy because that means she's able to feel a lot um, she's able to nurture and help people a lot and that empress card came in reverse so like she has a lot of love to give and sometimes yeah maybe it could be a little bit too much for people but she shouldn't be sad about that um you know she can easily it's it's she can easily back off it's it's better to like back off and ease back from having too many feelings rather than like trying to learn how to start feeling um so that's what I'm seeing for her. Also, the page of wands in reverse is talking about like she needs to be careful. Like maybe sometimes if people are like, wow, like you're it's it's a little bit too much for me right now. She takes it a little bit the wrong way and then she kind of like backs off and maybe she could take it um, in a very she there's like an immaturity that sometimes like if someone says something to her like hey like calm down <laughs> she gets a little bit immature about it and then she's like now you calm down you know <laughs> um um or like if someone's like all right you're doing too much right now she's like no you're doing too much uh, <laughs> i'm cracking myself up so the advice for her that i'm seeing is like if someone tells her to like ease back like ease off on the fire or to like slow down there's no need to be sad about that she, and to get in her feelings about it like it's good that they're comfortable enough to communicate with her and tell her that like she just needs to like chill back relax a little bit more um but yeah that's kind of what i'm seeing she needs to just own her feelings more um she has a lot of love to give and there's nothing wrong with having a lot of love to give um and it's easy for all that love that she has she can easily just like to tone it down a bit or kind of like spread it out in ways that that way it's not so like 
fast and like maybe a lot of love at once. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing for Lee Junho and Yuna's reading. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you did not like it. Also, um, I know some of y'all love giving me suggestions and I love that you all feel very comfortable and uh, about that but right now I do my to-do list is quite long and I am a little bit overwhelmed with how many videos I have to do or like how long my list is so I'm probably not going to be writing down a lot of videos on my to-do list right now um, so I apologize but hopefully maybe in the beginning of next year I'll start doing that again um, so anyway Remember to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and sexually. Love and respect yourselves and others. And as always, stay hydrated. I'll see y'all on the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.